All right, what's up, everybody? This is Rance, aka Darth Lugia, and today we're talking about the huge DNF duel news that we just got. So, this was a new character as well as a grand balance patch, is what they're calling it, which I love because it's over a hundred uh, changes to skills, and we only get to see uh, glimpses of a few of them. <clears throat> However, what we've seen so far is very exciting. Now, briefly, the quality of this video, my editing software essentially told me to suck it. Uh, and so I'm going to have to get that figured out. So this is a very kind of thrown together, you know, uh, casual setup. However, I'll do my best to get the information as quickly as I can. And so let's go ahead and jump into it right now. So first off, this is our new character, <clears throat> Spectre. Everyone was looking forward to this character. Uh, most people were looking forward to this character when like they theorized to be in the game, right? She's got the samurai mixed with blade. Uh, you know, and she's a, a female with cool glasses, right? I'm just very into this design. Can't wait to see what she adds to the game. Now, <laughs> potentially even more exciting than a new character, if that's even possible, is our grand balance patch. So uh, we're going to run through this trailer in slow motion, and we're going to talk about a number of these things. Now, I am not an expert on anyone outside of Vanguard. However, I played this game enough and have gotten information from other people to kind of point out what is ridiculous so right here already that is the command grab from berserker which he is immediately able to jump and do otg state afterwards uh with his dive kick that's huge already giving his uh, command grab follow-ups is nuts uh and that's outside of awakening because he could have command grabbed into his super move so already that's a huge huge buff to him now this one is one i'm not too uh pumped about just because i hate this matchup and it's gonna make this matchup even more difficult Inquisitor throws out her oil right here, and as soon as she throws out the oil, she actually cancels into her command dash uppercut move. So, if you think that she's throwing out the oil, she's throwing out potentially the fire bottle, and you try and, you know, uh, advance on her, right? You try and get past uh, the range of that, she can actually catch you with that going into her, uh, going into like another move. And we don't know if it's only this special or other specials as well. Uh, however, this is a huge uh, mix-up tool that she has now in, in the neutral game. Then we have Ranger. <laughs> this is going into his crumple state, right? You know, hits you there. And she didn't press anything. Launcher pressed nothing. However, right there, uh, comboing that into his air guns, she is now in a crumpled state. She's falling to the ground, meaning that she can get comboed on afterwards even long enough for him to throw out the grenade land and then you know he's going to be able to go into another combo now under god please comment exactly in the comments what's going on here uh it looks like she you know cancels that directly into um, her air you know the air version of it that launches her is able to go into the otg state send out her projectile and then continue the combo afterwards. Okay, now what Hitman is shown doing here is actually seems like a bit of a universal change. That he is using his 2S, right? His uppercut move is what a lot of those moves are. And he's jumping directly afterwards to continue the combo. Now, that is going to be seen in a couple other instances. But still, seeing Hitman do that uh, is important. Okay, this one's really cool. Kunoichi sends out her kunai. However... After she sends out the kunai, typically <clears throat> what pressing buttons will do or other uh, kunai players in our community, they'll throw those out and then they will convert and then that will catch roll, right? Um, though also her buttons are just fast, so she kind of catches roll anyway. However, in this situation, Ghost Blade rolls through the kunai and then she's able to cancel her kunai into her teleport immediately, be on top of Ghost Blade, and then she goes into her air ms which is uh sends a bunch of projectiles down and then can combo afterwards which she does right there so that's awesome she can send out her uh kunai and then cancel into other moves and uh, in this case teleport potentially could be other moves like more so than that okay enchantress uh this is her 2s right her uppercut that she jumps directly afterwards this is a very similar thing we saw to what hitman was doing and then afterwards, I know that there's some frame data changes on these moves. I know that this combo wasn't necessarily possible before, um, and now she's doing it. And so, you know, there's more options for Enchantress players. Uh, now, this is my boy, right? Th this was the thing that made me more excited than anything else, um, besides the new character, of course. Right here, 
Vanguard is going into his brandish, right? His 5MS. And he is typically needing to hit you with the first or second hit of brandish before he cancels into other moves. However, if we watch this in slow motion, this is the animation for brandish, which he then cancels into the animation for behead, which is his giant armor counter state move. And so he, get, he gets hit twice, right? Which he can get hit twice and then goes into the counter state. Then after that, he again goes into brandish and immediately cancels it into the drill, right? And then the drill, uh, you know, puts him on the ground. He goes into the 6MS, which I, I, I've never drilled on the 6MS. I feel like it's been possible. I just haven't done it because it never seems like a great use of the meter. But here, the 6MS actually, if we go very slowly, it bounces Berserker off the wall, right? Meaning that there could be more follow-ups uh, after this move. You might be able to get more combo potential after Berserker gets bounced here. Yeah, see, he's getting bounced right off the wall there. So this is huge. I mean, you, uh, Vanguard has struggled, you know, one of the two or three worst characters in the game, as a lot of people's uh, opinion. He has struggled because he doesn't excel at guard break, he does not excel at mix-up, uh, and he his damage is pretty good, but a lot of characters' damage is, is better. Um, however, giving him the tool of being able to access armor, essentially, whenever he has the meter, you know what I mean? Like, all he needs here is to spend 30 to go into Brandish, and then 20 to go into his armor state. And, like, off of this, off of this move, that's where he gets his most, like his highest damaging uh, combos. And so that may get scaled down. But for now, that this is one of the biggest changes they could have given Vanguard. I was asking for his DP to get changed, you know, but this, this is miles above what I expected for him. So excited to see what else comes with him. Now, Ghostblade does his uh, 5S, directly cancels it into his teleport, which is very scary to think about. I'm sure Milo's having a good time watching this. We have uh, Crusader doing 5AA into his parry, which is also incredibly scary. Usually he goes into wall, but going into parry uh, means that just like this, you can, you know, um, get out of guard canceling, right? Because that's what he parries here is Inquisitor's guard cancel. So that's, yeah, that's a cool, cool buff. Here, Launcher needs a lot of help, and I know a lot, a lot of Launcher players have more details about this than, than I have. But again, 2S into the jump, into laser, which I believe was a soft knockdown. Uh, however, it looks like it becomes a bit of a harder knockdown, and then this move is actually OTGing, which wasn't possible before. So again, already getting a lot more combo routes. Um, and it also looks like, if we go back here, it looks like this move might actually be like air invincible, you know? Because she just barely, barely like gets out of the way of his uh, of troubleshooters jumping attack here. Like it looks like that should have hit her. It looks like it goes through her, her you know, her, through her hurt box. And so that's cool. Um, again, this character's not good. <laughs> she's good against Vanguard, but she's not good generally. So giving her more uh, buffs is always great. See right there, we saw that uh, Lost Warrior is able to jump and then do this move, which he only was really able to do uh, on the ground. Um, which again gives him more combo potential. Happy to see it. And then here is one of the changes I'm probably most nervous about. We see that Swiftmaster, uh, not only does he have a new um, awakening power, I th this might be the awakening power he had that was taken away. Looks like meter regen is buffed, but he does a DP here and is able to immediately act afterwards in combo. Hopefully that's only on hits, right? Hopefully uh, that is not, he's not able to do that on, you know, on block. However, he does it there on hit and he gets a combo afterwards. So here in the very beginning of this trailer, Troubleshooter shoots the net with like the net throw attack, right? Like that blows up the net, launches, throws out, throws out the net, and then immediately goes into what looks like his get on fire move, right? However... There's only one shot that comes out of that. And they could have cut the comp trailer off before the second shot, but it doesn't like, I, I, like his other shot should have came out by then. And so this either is a new follow-up 
to the net throw, or he is actually able to fully cancel the net throw into a into any meter follow up that he wants, which is very cool. A very cool uh, possibility here. Okay, grappler. So this is nuts. Uh, Lassie actually sent me a, a theory of what his new uh, awakening buff is. So as we see, he has a new awakening buff. It's no longer the nerf that he has of like taking less, you know, white health. Um, he was thinking that this buff is what allows you to cancel uh, any of your MS moves into any other meter burn move. Which is what he does. He does the meter burn a foot stomp into the meter burn shoulder in the meter burn foot stop, and then he can keep going. And it seems like uh, outside of like hit stun, hit decay, that you might just be able to do that forever, which either that's possible across the board or that's only possible within Awakening. I do not know. This symbol that we have in the top right corner, I don't remember seeing before. So this is a brand new Awakening uh, buff. So can't wait to see what it is. Uh, excited for grappler players, terrified even more for them that they can get so much damage. Uh, however, I think that's a, a fun change, a really, really fun change. Okay, and then Striker, I believe is our last one here. She uh, goes for her shoulder charge, which, yep, goes through projectiles. And then afterwards, she immediately sprints, you know, is able to run right afterwards into another shoulder charge. So that is the individual character balance changes that we know are coming. However, if we look through this uh, trailer again, we have over 100 skills are getting buffed. So they're not talking about nerfs at all yet, but 100 different skills are getting buffed, which is huge. We also have uh, the, the gauge system, the gauge system, uh, higher HP and guard gauge for all characters. So may not be, uh, you may not get too touched by Striker. However, you might still get too touched by Striker or Berserker or Grappler. It, it may still happen. However, uh, guard gauge being buffed, I like because I do think that guard break happens a tiny bit too much, specifically for uh, Striker, Ranger. You know, those characters break your guard very, very easily. And so I'm curious to see. Um, how this kind of works out with, you know, offense being buffed, but also a little bit of defensive skills being buffed as well. Uh, awakening skill, I think this is huge that they are simply buffing awakening skills for more excitement. Uh, for example, maybe characters who get more damage get a new awakening. I'd love that. Uh, maybe Vanguard's awakening of extra guard break turns to, instead of plus 50%, plus 75% or something ludicrous like that. I think that would be very very fun and then upgraded evade this is good from day one i thought that role was weaker than it should be based on some of the tools in this game uh, that's me playing vanguard like you should roll on me however i still think roll should be even better so maybe they're taking away recovery frames maybe they're adding roll distance uh, we don't know yet but this is a exciting change just give you more defensive options and then more advantages for guard cancel. So potentially you're less minus when you guard cancel, so you don't get punished as much. Uh, potentially, maybe you could, I don't even know, guard cancel into a small combo. Not positive what advantages they're talking about here, but that is an interesting change. And I believe, is there anything else? Nope, that is all the details that we have. And last but not least, this is coming in December, 2022. So this month, which is great, uh, but we don't have any dates on any of this information yet. So again, sorry for kind of the hackneyed, uh, thrown together nature of this video. Uh, I know it's not as clean cut as a lot of my other videos have been. I'll get my editing software taken care of later. I just need to do this right now because I was too pumped. All in all, my impressions on uh, this patch, they are focusing on uh, offensive buffs, defensive buffs, and I think they're focusing on more fun which is potentially the most important part of this entire thing. You are going to get to have more fun in this game than you would have before this patch, I think. Obviously, if you're just getting wrecked by a top-tier character, that still sucks. Um, but hopefully, the lower-tier characters have more tools to deal with some of the higher-tier stuff. And so we're going to get more details about this soon. They may even just drop the patch on us at some point. Just say, here you go, enjoy. Uh, and if they do, then obviously I'm going to be making a crap ton of content about it um really hope this happens before christmas because i'm going to be out of town and i don't know about taking my whole setup you know to make videos while i'm at my family's place but we'll figure it out uh, this might this would be a lovely early birthday present or early christmas present for all of us 
Uh, so anyway, that's gonna do it for me. Again, thank you guys for being patient with this format. I appreciate that a lot. And let's get pumped, man. We've been trying to keep this game alive for a long time. People in my community, people in the Jamaican community, you know, uh, TNS, there's a ton of tournaments that have been doing their best to keep this game alive. And now the developers are tr finally, finally starting to help us out. And that means a lot to me. I'm glad that this game is definitely, uh, definitely not dead. And I just can't wait. So thank you guys so much. Please leave some comments about details that you know, that you've pointed out, been able to find uh, based on the videos that we've seen. And I'll see you guys next time.